what's up guys so before we start this video i just want to say if you guys want me to start a smash bros channel um that's of course like cpu tournaments on there just smash bros videos and all that put down in the comments and yeah let's get on to this video jesus christ why did i do that oh i hit my skateboard so i like the nintendo 3ds well my, well, my 2GS because I got the 2GS instead of the 3GS. Thanks, Mum. Oh, Patch. Patch. Okay, Patch. Patch, can you leave? Patch. Okay. The main reason I like the Nintendo 3DS is that it introduced me to a lot of series that I never played before, and the 3DS was my first kind of like introduction to them pokemon kirby smash bros so that's what i'm going to talk about today my top five favorite nintendo 3ds games this video is not scripted it's not planned out so i'm just probably going to say yeah i like the game so yeah before we get started with this video i just want to say thank you for 75 subs i didn't think i would make it so that sounds that sounds like i just think like, that sounds like I almost died. Like I didn't think I would make it, but yeah, I, yeah, I did. So yeah, thank you for that, and yeah, and I just want to say thanks for watching the videos as I've went on for the past year now. I think I've been on YouTube. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into my top five favorite Nintendo 3DS games, either because they're fun or because I didn't have other placeholder. Did you? Alright, so the first game that I want to talk about is Pokemon Moon. So, the main reason I got this game was because my friend Jake, Thomas the Tank and Tank, the, t Jake, my friend Jake, basically said, oh, Pokemon Sun's really good and I really want somebody to get the Pokemon Moon. And he was like, hey, you're a Nintendo person, right? And I was like, yeah, get this game. So I did. And it was... It was pretty good. Mm. Um, also, Jake, still waiting for my uh, Poplio back. Still waiting. I haven't got it back since, like, when I went to his house to trade Pokemon, and I still haven't got it back. Yeah. But this game was my first introduction to Pokemon. I enjoyed the game, I just didn't put much time into it because I got this game when I think the switch was revealed so i was just getting hyped for that really so also i think when i got this game i don't think it worked or i think it just came without like without the card without the cartridge uh, so that was fun i don't know if that was this game or another game i got that one time where i got two vs games i think it was my birthday or something but yeah this game is good i would recommend if you recently just got a Nintendo 3DS for some reason in 2019. Just get a switch, just wait a bit. Alright, so that's why number Pokemon Pokemon Moon is number four on my list. Number four. Number four is Animal Crossing New Leaf. This was again my first I think my first look into the Animal Crossing series. And it's kind of one of them games where you would think people above five wouldn't enjoy the game, or maybe like seven. But there's just a certain charm to it that makes you think, why am I enjoying this game? That's kind of like uh, uh, one of my other games on this list. Um, I just love Animal Crossing, to be honest. Um, new one coming out on the Switch 2020, which we are in right now. Well, that's weird. Oh, well, happy new year everyone. Uh, I just love Animal Crossing New Leaf because it was my first thing into, it was my first look into Animal Crossing and then I got the one of the Wii, then I got the Amiibo one because I lost this one. I got Amiibo Festival, then I got Happy Home Designer and then there's a new one on the Switch which looks good. We've got kneecaps. So yeah, this game is great. You can like, I don't, 
just Google Animal Crossing. There'll be there'll be other videos that like just search up on YouTube why is Animal Crossing fun. That's why it's number four on my list, and I should probably stop throwing them. So on to number three. Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS. I was gonna put this game further down on the list, but then I realized that this game is already on the Wii U, and there was so much more content on the Wii U, but I just love how this one played out. If, back in then, back then, when if I was any good at this game, I would've started playing this game competitively, uh, but now I don't really play it anymore. Uh, I really liked um, Smash Run. That was probably my favorite new feature into this game you know eight players smash on the wii u version that's not on this version but honestly i don't like eight player smash i don't even like playing with four please um i really like how you can customize your fighters i think that's a cool addition um, and you can play um you can play with your nintendo 3ds on the wii u version which i think is pretty cool the character roster in this game is Fine. You cut out a lot of my favourite characters, Snake, Wolf, Ice Climbers. Because apparently this game couldn't handle two players on the screen at once and... Uh. Uh. I still don't understand that one because Rosalina and Luma, Duck Hunt Duo, um, Olimar and Pikmin. Like... Like, they couldn't handle two players on the screen at the same. Four player smash. Two player smash. I don't understand it. Maybe they just didn't have enough data because of the Nintendo 3DS, but that's the only one thing I have bad to say about this game. The controls are also, on the Wii U version, they're not very good. Like, sideways, we're not. Ah, I look back and I think, I used to play like that. Wow. So, yeah. Smash Bros for 3DS is number three on this list. All right, number one on my list is Yoshi Credit Tax from number seven. No, I'll play that. Number two on my list is Tamodachi Life on the DS because that's the only thing it is on. That's mainly why I put it on, put it above uh, Smash Bros because that's on the Wii U. This was an exclusive game for the 3DS. I've got the, the French version, which I can understand because, uh, you know, big brain. Big brain, small body. Just simple. Um, Tomodachi Life again with Animal Crossing. It's kind of like a game where you think, why am I enjoying this? Basically, you get to, you have to make your lookalike, and then your lookalike will interact with other people that you make on the island. So it could be your friends, it could be family members, it could be Kirby. I don't know, I've made Kirby on mine. Uh, and it's really fun to say, like, this stuff won't become realistic, but it depends it Shout out to it depends. But it depends really how like it won't become realistic. It isn't realistic. Um But then again, like you never know what's gonna happen in life, so Tamanoshi Life is kind of like you are god, if that makes sense. You are god of like one kind of island, if that makes sense. Kind of like uh Never mind, I haven't watched Moana, so I'm not going to make a reference because no, I won't understand it and it probably won't be right. Um, basically, you just have to interact with your mates that can get married, have children, get divorced. Have, I've been divorced in this game multiple times. Ugh. That's why I don't have a girlfriend. That hurt. Ah! My dog is literally like eating, so my back what are you eating? Oh no, it's just his owl, it's fine. And then I'm literally like screaming in pain. And then, and then Patty's just currently eating. So that's why Tamadashi Life is number two on this list. 
So some other online things before we start. Uh, Mario Maker for 3DS, I would put that game maybe like on the list, maybe somewhere, like maybe like number five or something. But that game is just not very good, to be honest. I just prefer the Wii U version and the Switch version. And then Super Mario 3D Land, I love that game. It's just that it didn't feel like it was big enough, if that like makes it didn't feel like if it had a lot of content as it like really should, you know? Like it felt like also I'll wait. Never mind. Don't knock your phone off. I've done that many times. Pick my phone up to start vlogging and then. I was having a conversation with a friend actually, saying, what would you do if I was and then they asked, what would you do if I was a vlogger? And I was like, I don't know. But Pix Pixel Vibes used to exist. Shout out to anyone that remembers that. <laughs> and shout out to the friend that knows who they are, but I won't mention because... <sighs> Reasons. You wanna know what definitely wouldn't get on this list? Rayman 3D. I bought this game when I really liked Rayman on the Switch. Um. But honestly, this game has graphics from like this Nintendo 64. The gameplay is awful. I literally stopped playing this game after like the first level because I was like, Jesus Christ, this is hurting my eyes. Literally, the game literally hurts your eyes. That's why this game is not on my list. Number one, Kirby, Planet Roblox. This is probably one of my favorite games of all time, mainly because it introduced me to the Kirby series. Which is not one of my favourite Nintendo series, like, to this day. Obviously Mario's number one and Smash Bros number two, but more on that in the future. I'll probably do a video on that, because, you know, running out of ideas. <laughs> yeah. I should probably stop. Okay, there we go. This game, no, I don't feel tall enough. <laughs> Kirby Planet Robot, uh... It's just a fun Kirby game. I don't know if you heard that, but there was a dog howling in the background. I did, okay. It finally stopped. This game is just a good Kirby game with like the robot armor, which is super cool. And it's kind of like Kirby just with legs. Don't Google Kirby with legs, please don't. <laughs> Save yourself from Kirby. But with legs. Is Kirby already up legs? No, his feet. Ah. Uh, also, that's Alan. From the Alan video. Um, this game is just a fun Kirby game. I'll recommend it. Probably one of my favorite games of all time, as I said. Probably I'll do a video on that, even though there isn't many games that I actually like, because, you know. I'm the Nintendo kid. So that is it for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the Pixel Powers. Go and follow me on Instagram at Pixel Gaming. Or notifications so you never miss another video. And put in the comments, should I start a Smash Bros channel? Um, I kind of want to, but then I, I'm kind of like, what would I upload on this, on this channel? Uh, also, you know what's really bad about starting a gameplay video on like a game? I cannot play that game until I record a video on it. News of Lucky's Tale, I've been wanting to play it. Can't play it because I need to record it. Um, so yeah, peace out and make sure you keep on playing. Out. Peace out and make sure you keep on playing part two.